Hey, close the door behind you. My roommate's the RA, and she doesn't really mind hearing the noise, but still. I'd like to make sure the entire college doesn't hate me. At least it's not quiet hours. <sighs> Anyways, sorry it's so cramped in my room. Between all of my instruments and all of Yagorozu's tea sets, it can get uh, pretty tight in here. Well, I guess you'll want to plug into the amp, huh? Don't worry, we'll keep it down. I already adjusted the volume for the one you're using. Just plug it into channel one and we can get started. <sighs> All right, let's get started. So... What do you know? <sighs> Seriously? Jeez, that's practically nothing. No, no. It's okay. We'll just start from the top. Seriously, it's no big deal. <laughs> You'll definitely be a better student than Danky was. It took me forever to get him to concentrate on the guitar instead of on TikTok. That idiot was obsessed with some song from a show for actual infants. In the backyard again, I think. <sighs> I guess that's just Dinky Kaminari, though. The song was pretty catchy, though. <clears throat> uh, anyways. Sorry, I totally got sidetracked there. Let's start with some basic chords. Now, the most important part to playing guitar is having proper finger placement. If you want to be able to play quickly and easily, you need to make sure that you're pressing down on the strings with the outer edges of your fingers. A lot of people use the center of their fingers, but getting used to proper positioning now will really help you in the long run. Yeah, seriously. I remember when I was a kid, mom and dad used to always nitpick about my fingers. Jiro, eyes forward. Wrong finger, Jiro. Ugh. It only took one time for that to become annoying. But I guess it all worked out in the end. When I was in high school, Yue would have these huge cultural festivals. And my absolute favorite year was when my class held a live concert. It really helped me get through those tough sections in the song. And it helped me focus on singing. Oh, you want to hear a bit from it? <laughs> well, since you ask so nicely, I guess I can play a little. You liked it? Thanks. I was nervous as hell that day, but when I got on stage, it was amazing. My riffs? What about them? You liked them or something? Oh, yeah. 
I guess I am pretty good at doing quick riffs. It comes from a lot of practice. Yeah, I'm, uh, really good with my fingers. That's not what I meant, idiot! Don't be gross. <laughs> well, I guess I am pretty good at... Uh, you didn't hear that, okay? Anyways, stop distracting me. I'm trying to teach guitar. Jeez, it's like you don't even want to learn how to play. Let's get back to chords. Okay, so the first chord I'll teach you is G. It's easy, I promise. In order to learn how to play this easy chord, you need to understand how guitars work. If you know piano, it's pretty different, but I think we think of fingers in a similar sort of way. You have four fingers you can use, right? Your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, and your pinky. Right. So, each finger has a special role. Anytime you play a chord on the guitar, your fingers have to be in the right place in order to get the sound you're looking for. It's the same for piano. If you try to use your middle finger in a place where your pinky is supposed to be placed, you're not going to have any strength on that note, and it's going to mess up the whole chord. When you look at guitar tabs, which are basically just sheet music for guitarists, you'll see that a lot of the beginner tabs will actually draw out the proper positioning for your fingers. Now, here's where it differs from piano. In guitar, your fingers are numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4, but the frets are also numbered. If you look at the neck of your guitar, you'll see a bunch of notches separating it into different rectangles. Each of those rectangles is a different fret. And as you go down the neck, the sound gets higher. So, in order to play the right chord, you need to have the correct finger on the correct fret and string. Hey. It's okay. I know it seems like a lot of information right now, but it's all about practice. Everyone starts off not knowing how to play. It takes practice to get good. And you know, every mistake you make is just one step closer to getting it right. Uh, I'm not really the best at the whole motivational speech thing. But... Did that help at all? <sighs> Good. I'm glad I could make you feel better. It's been a long time since I've been a beginner at playing an instrument. I forgot for a sec how frustrating it can feel when you're just starting out. <laughs> when I was a little kid, playing the guitar taught me why grown-ups swear. <laughs> I was so mad trying to learn bar chords. I think I said my first curse word when I was learning to play an F. It turned out that the problem was the size of my guitar. I was playing on my dad's acoustic and the neck was too wide for my tiny hands. It took practicing and learning over time for me to realize the problem and fix it. When I finally got that chord, I was so happy. I think I actually jumped up and down. What? You can't imagine it? <laughs> yeah, I guess I do give off those bra girl vibes. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's totally me. But I guess I'm different when I play an instrument. It's like, when there's a guitar in my hand, or a mic in front of me... I don't know. I just feel... free. Open to be myself, and not... embarrassed and shy. It's freaking awesome. Oh. 
Shit, I went on a big tangent, huh? Like I said, the guitar in my hands makes me open up more. But I guess we should really get back to practicing. Momo said she'll be back in an hour from now, and she wanted to go out tonight. Actually, I wanted to ask, and I guess I should do it now while I still have my confidence. But... Do you want to go out with us? We're gonna go check out that cool new music bar that just opened. One of the local bands is playing tonight. Sarah's on the guitar for them, actually. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Momo's trying to broaden her horizons. She said she wants to see what it's like to be less princessy and more... rock and roll? I don't know how it's gonna go, but it should be interesting. Uh, I, I mean... Don't feel like you have to come or anything. You probably already have plans or something. I shouldn't have asked. Uh, oh. You said yes? I I'm not blushing. Stop looking at me like that. Ugh, fine. You just like it when I'm nervous, don't you? Gosh, we've barely gotten anything done here. But I guess that's a good thing, too. I was sort of looking forward to just spending time with you. I like you. Don't make a big deal out of that, okay? I just... I just wanted you to know how I feel about you. And that... I wanted to take you out. As friends, but... As... Maybe... Something more? God, this is so embarrassing. But you're still sitting here. Does that mean you want to go out with me? Oh, thank God. I was scared I was going to ruin our friendship or something. I just didn't want to scare you off or anything. I'm... I'm really excited for tonight. Oh, God. If we're going out, out, I have to change my clothes. Uh, I'm sorry to cut our lesson short, but we'll be having a lot more now that we're hanging out. Anyways, I'll come by your dorm to pick you up in an hour or so. Does that work for you? Okay. Good. I can't wait for tonight. See you soon. They said yes. Momo, you have to help me pick out something to wear. I'm so excited for tonight and I feel like I'm gonna puke. Okay, okay. So should I go for something cute or something sexy?